What's up guys and girls, it's Ryan and No Limit. Uh, long time no see, but uh, we thought that this one would be worth filming, so let's go over it. Now this is a 2019 Mercedes-Benz Sprinter 2500. Uh, we've done a couple of accessories to it already, such as the front winch bumper, the Baja Designs lighting, wheels, tires, and Sumo Springs out back for the weight. We're gonna take it to the next level today with an agile off-road 4x4 lift. Now let's go over the components. So let's start with the rear components. So he opted for the Fox Reservoir adjustable shocks, which is a great option. It's gonna ride great. It's gonna also give you some adjustability for depending on your weight load, if you're off-roading or if you're just driving to work. The second thing is on these trucks, you must weigh them, find out what your cargo capacity is, what you're carrying, and that's how you set your leaf springs. We opted for the Agile Off-Road 4700 option. They're made by Deaver. We know it's a quality spring. We install them all the time. And uh, that's it for the rear. Let's move to the front. So moving to the front here, uh, the first component is the auxiliary shock. So you're adding a second shock to the factory setup. Uh, this is all done by Agile Off-Road, engineered by them. Uh, new bracketry. We do have experience installing those before, so um, it is going to completely change the riding and handling of this vehicle. The second part of this rip kit is a coilover conversion for the front strut. So this is going to add your lift. These are the lift components of the strut. It basically turns it into a coilover. It gives you all the parts to do that. Um, the next thing that we splurge for is, and if you're going this far, why not? The Bilstein B8 4600 style shock. I mean, why not replace them and make sure this thing's gonna ride as good as possible. So that's, uh, that's a list of the components. Uh, it's time to get it installed this. So first step of the install was to get the factory struts out of the way. And I'm not gonna quite put on these uh, brand new bill scenes yet. I'm gonna start with the auxiliary shock. So the auxiliary shock comes with its own bracket on the top side, its own bracket on the uh, bottom side, and a Fox shock in between. It's all about ride quality with something like this. It's not gonna add any height, um, but uh, Time to get these fender liners out and get them in. All right, we're wrapping up the front of the install on this rip kit. Uh, went pretty well. They actually redesigned the auxiliary shock bracket. So it was a little different from the last one I did, but uh, it actually made it a little bit easier as well. So I was appreciative of that. Uh, front's all back together. Let's take a look at it. So if you look in here, you'll see our additions. That is the auxiliary Fox shock, the bracket for from Agile Off-Road, the wheel hub adapter that uh, turned us into a stud instead of a wheel bolt setup. Also, you'll see the biggest thing is our Bilstein Agile Coilover. So that's where our lift's coming from. That's where our ride improvements are coming from. So let's get the wheels back on, move it to the back.
All right, folks, to wrap this one up, the Sprinter is done. Um, it looks amazing, drives even better than it looks. We're really happy with the way it turned out. Uh, just to go over some of the things we did, uh, I originally got the Owl Company front bumper, the Baja Designs LP9s, the Warren Wench, the Factor 55 flat leg. For the suspension, we did the Agile Off-Road Rip Kit with the optional Bilsteins, the front auxiliary Fox Shock, the rear 4,700 pound Deaver Springs. For wheels and tires, we went with a 34 by 11 Ridge Grappler. It was pushing the envelope a little bit. We did have to do some minor trimming in here, but looks great, fits the truck perfectly. Wheels, Black Rhino wheels, you can't go wrong with Black Rhino wheels on a, a Sprinter van. So that's a wrap, let's deliver it to the customer. All right, guys and girls, thanks for tuning in on this one. Uh, if you liked the video at all, please hit that like button and help support us. If you want to see more content just like this truck, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Until then.